kids, welcome to your phonics lesson. We've been talking about possessives, where something or someone owns or has something else. You can see in front of you there are blue words. Those are all people or things, and they own something, and those are the words in pink. Okay, I'm going to erase the black one at a time so we can see what it looks like when the king owns the crown. So if a king owns a crown, we say it's the king's crown. See the apostrophe right there before the S? That shows that the king owns it. It's his. Okay, next. If it's your mom and she has a scarf, we would say it's your mom's scarf. A zebra with stripes, we would talk about his stripes and say they're the zebra's stripes. A train has a whistle, it's the train's whistle. My friend has a secret, it's my friend's secret. Crows have beaks, this crow owns his beak, it's on his face, it's the crow's beak. Same with a camel. If it's on his body, we would say it's the camel's humps. Ooh, look at this. See on this word, the apostrophe comes after the S? That means there's more than one camel. So actually this is maybe two or three camels walking across the desert. And I'm talking about all of the humps on all of those camels. They're the camel's humps. Okay, on the bottom, birds have feathers. Those are the birds' feathers. And same thing. We're talking about more than one bird here because the apostrophe is on the other side of the S. It comes at the very end. All right, here we go. Next row. The child owns the boots. They're the child's boots. My sister has a bedroom. That's my sister's bedroom. This doll wears a dress. It's the doll's dress. Sam has a football. It's Sam's football. That man over there has sunglasses. Those are the man's sunglasses. The sun has rays, and we've been feeling the sun rays the last couple days. It's been so warm. We've been feeling the sun's Rays. Okay, the boys have jackets. So there's more than one boy, and they have jackets. More than one, and they have jackets. So it would look like this. Did you guess that the apostrophe would come at the very end? If you did, you're starting to get it. Good job. Okay, again, we have girls. Now, all of a sudden, magically, these are girls, and the girls have names. So the girls having names, we would say those are the girls' names. More than one girl means the apostrophe comes at the end. Awesome. Thanks for paying attention. Next, we're going to review our oo and uh sounds. You can see that the oo card has green around it, and the uh card has orange around it. For each of these words, we're going to tell whether it has oo or uh. Normally, in our classroom, I would call on you, and you would get to share with the whole class if it has oo or uh. I wish we were all in the classroom together, so instead, I'll just do it, and I'll maybe pause every once in a while so you can try to blurt out the answer before I do. Here we go. First word over here. Let's start with top left. This word right here. B, u, b, k, book. Book has the sound u, like the cook card. So I circled it with orange. Now I'm gonna go a little faster. Here we go. Er, oo, roo, st, er, rooster, rooster. Rooster has oo. Ch, 
oo, choo. Choo has oo, just like the moon card. Here we go. Oo, oo, loo, p, loop. Loop has oo. All right, I'm going to start pausing so you can blurt it out and try to beat me and say it first. Here we go. Cur, uh, cr, k, crook, ed, crooked. Crooked has uh. I gave you a clue because I clicked on the color. I'll try to wait next time. Here we go. J, u, ju, ul, jewel. It's ooh. K, uh, k, k, e, cookie. It's uh. Nice work. S, ooh, su, p, soup. If you said ooh, you were right. F, uh, f, Foot, b, all, football, football. It's a uh, good job. Here we go. Few left. T, <gasps> wrong color. T, u, two, s, twos, d, a, Tuesday, Tuesday. It's u. W, uh, w, d, wood, e, n, wooden, wooden. Uh, un, uh, k, un, hook, un, hook. Uh, good job. I hope you're blurting out the answer before I say it. Miss. Uh, miss to, k, mistook. Uh, nice work. Four left. Gur, u, grew, p, group. It's u. B, a, ba, m, bam, b, u. Bamboo. Bamboo. Ooh. Sh, a, sha, m, sham, p, ooh. Sham, poo. Shampoo. If you said ooh, you're right. A, ha, and, hand, b, uh, Handbook. Handbook. Uh is correct. Nice work. Cook says uh. Moon says ooh. Nice work, everybody. Last, we're going to spell three words. Just three. Get a paper and a pencil. If you don't have one, go ahead and pause the video. If you do have your paper and pencil, let's get started. Word number one goes with this sentence. The story's ending was a surprise. Spell stories. I want you to spell stories without forgetting that apostrophe. Here we go. St, or, e, s, stories. The story's ending was a surprise. Don't forget to add an apostrophe somewhere in that word. Okay, number two. Number two goes with this sentence. We ate the cook's stew with a spoon. Cook's. K. U. K. S. Cook's. Now, the stew belongs to the cook because he made it. He's sharing it with you. 
Because it belongs to him, don't forget the apostrophe. Third word, here we go. The dog's tails are wagging. There's more than one dog, and they all have a tail, and all of their tails are wagging. Dogs. D -o -g -s. D-O-G-S. Don't forget the apostrophe. And if there's more than one dog, does it go before the S or after the S? Do your best. Watch this video again if you need to get a reminder. Awesome. When you're done with these three words and you think they're all correct, take a picture and upload it to Class Dojo. Nice work today, everyone.